autonomous agents, it sounds big and scary, but they're going to be as commonplace as apps and web pages. And what they do is they understand our goals, they pull in the data that they need, and then they take action for us. And we realize everything that you need for an agent is already in the Salesforce platform. Today, I'm speaking with Clara Shee, CEO of Salesforce AI. Prior to Salesforce, Clara was founder and CEO of Hearsay Systems. Clara is recognized as one of Fortune's most powerful women entrepreneurs and was named a young global leader by the World Economic Forum. Welcome, Clara. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Now look, Clara, you have been a founder, an entrepreneur, now a tech leader. Tell us a little bit about what got you into this space. What pulled you to AI? Because you were early on that. And that, a little bit about that early chapter. Oh, sure. I mean, I was a computer science major at Stanford and it's part of the curriculum to take AI. So that was my initial introduction to it. And then after I worked at Salesforce the first time, I started a company called Hearsay and we were a predictive AI content company. Mm. So, um, but nothing really could have prepared me for how huge the last two years has been. So it's been just incredible being in this role and getting to work with so many smart people at the company. You've had an incredible journey. I actually also study computer science, so we share a little bit in common there. Now, congratulations, you've now launched Agent Force. Can you unpack what that is for the folks that may not be familiar? Yeah, well, autonomous agents, it sounds big and scary, but they're going to be as commonplace as apps and web pages in the very near future. And what they do is they understand our goals, they pull in the data that they need, and then they take action for us. And we're launching Agent Force because we realize everything that you need for an agent is already in the Salesforce platform. And so customers using Agent Force, they're able to have a running start because of everything that they've already invested, whether that's a flow or their metadata or roles that they've set up. Now tell me, folks may be familiar with a co-pilot or a chatbot. How does it differ? What does Agent Force do that's different to that? Pre-LLMs, chatbots, they had to be pre-programmed. So it was a lot of if, else, then mm. statements, every single scenario. And we you know we've all used chatbots. Yes. They get confused easily and sometimes they just immediately escalate you to a human. It's not a very good experience and it's especially frustrating when you're talking on the phone to a bot. The difference with Agent Force is that it takes the power of natural language understanding that LLMs have to really understand the intent of mm. what the customer is asking. And then it uses our Atlas reasoning engine. This is the brain of Agent Force to reason, come up with a plan, to refine the plan, and it keeps looping until it feels confident it can address the issue. And when it does, it then takes action across, across the customer 360, whether that's sending an email campaign in Marketing Cloud or engaging a prospect in Sales Cloud or, or in OpenTable's case for online reservations, it's confirming that perfect dinner reservation. Can you tell us a little bit like why, why is that so important and why is that different to what other approaches have been doing up until now? I think there's been a lot of market confusion over the last two years since ChatGPT was launched. A lot of companies thought that all they needed was an LLM mm. and to connect it with their data and then their company would be transformed. That's not how it works, right? That hasn't worked for anybody because there's much more that's required. And in addition to trust and security and the data layer, and all of the pieces around flow and business logic, um, Atlas is really important because it's a series of different CRM specific techniques and um, you know, areas that our research team have pioneered to improve accuracy and relevance by up to 2x. Wow, tell us a little bit. I think uh, Atlas is a quantum leap, I think, in what you've developed here with the team. But even things like you know, the data that they retrieve from data cloud and from CRM They've pioneered methods for advanced retrieval augmented generation that's specific to financial services, specific to media, to telecom, specific to marketing, sales, service, and that's why we're seeing the results that we are. So you, you mentioned that there's been confusion in the market. Many organizations have tried to DIY or do it yourself. What are the pitfalls in taking that approach? You mentioned it a little bit there, but can we go a little deeper there? What, what have you seen happen when companies do that? I think a lot of companies are coming to us saying that it's been a failed multi-million dollar experiment. Wow. And that they've realized that in order to deploy AI and certainly deploy agents, they need to build a trust and security layer and reinvent what we already have with Hyperforce. Right. They have to build a data layer and 
reinvent what we've created with Data Cloud with thousands of engineers. They need to have a trust layer, which is what we have with the Einstein trust layer, data privacy, data security, ethical guardrails, observability and monitoring. Essentially that they have to become- We're Reinventing the wheel. <laughs> a professional software company, which that's our job. So yes. if you're a bank, you focus on being a Let bank. Let us do that. We'll be the software company. <laughs> Love that. Well look, on that note, what you mentioned a few examples before. What are you hearing from the early customers that have deployed Agent Force and how are they thinking about this, how this might change their business? It's really exciting. I mean, you take Wiley Publishing, they make textbooks and sell them all around the world. Right now it's fall back to school season and they're seeing a surge in customer support requests come from students and from teachers and school districts. And in the past, they were scrambling to find temporary seasonal workers and then scrambling to train them up as quickly as possible. Now with Agent Force, they're able to scale up their service team with a service agent force and then also use AI to help their new hires onboard 50% faster. Wow, it's incredible. And so it's those mundane questions, when's my order getting here? How do I get a replacement for this textbook that arrived damaged? They're able to completely resolve those issues 40% better and more than before Agent Force. It's a completely new way of thinking and you know we've come up with this term of humans and agents working together. Explain that for folks, because I think immediately people think, oh, it's the same way I was doing something before and now I just don't need people. It's not the case, right? What is this new way of thinking? The, at a high level, it's we need a shift from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. I mean, that's really, and it's hard for us because we're, we're hardwired to think in the former way. There's never way. enough stuff. There's never <laughs> enough stuff. There's never enough time. There's, there, you know, we can't, you can't call everybody on your lead list. You have to do lead scoring and only call the top 10%. No, that's going out the door because with agent force, companies can have a sales agent force call and engage every lead in a really high quality way. Every single way. one. Every one. No lead left behind. Every lead deserves <laughs> to be called. Everyone gets a call back. Yes. And someone who is patient, understands that particular company situation and can provide that concierge service that in the past was only reserved for the select few. So that's really the big shift. And I think it's going to unleash both tremendous growth and productivity for companies, but also for workers. If you're a customer service rep, it's not fun to answer those really um, basic FAQs all day long. Reset my password. Yeah, that's the <laughs> cause of, of frustration and burnout. Instead, we're seeing customer service reps, they're relieved that someone else can do it so that they can focus on upskilling. We've seen customer service reps now become sellers, yes. become brand storytellers, because they have their own agent forces helping coach them in the moment. I love that. From use cases in sales, service, marketing, service is a new sales, sales is a new marketing, I love that. Look, Clara, it's a cliched question, but you are really at the pinnacle of this, you're at the edge. What should folks do to get going and how do you recommend they do that? We're here now, is this the moment? What should they do? This is the moment. And if anyone is already using Salesforce, you can just go. We have, we have our Agent Force launch zone right there in Moscone Center. We've had thousands of customers go through. And we're going on the road as well. And we're going on the road. And within 10 minutes, the customer is able to set up their own prototype Agent Force. And everyone is just amazed by how easy it is. Because again, all the components of an agent, metadata, roles, flows, data, all of that is already in Salesforce. And so that's what we're seeing. Um, customers who've been putting off their, their data, rationalization projects. <laughs> this has been a great forcing function to get their, their ducks in a row. And we've also launched Salesforce Foundation so that companies can experience this across every department. Now Clara, we've covered use cases from sales, service, marketing. Is this going to work for every industry? Yes, well you know at Salesforce we take an industry first approach. And so we're also thrilled to be releasing this week over a hundred industry wow. specific use cases. <laughs> you guys have been busy. <laughs> we've been very busy. So every industry cloud has agent force actions that they're delivering. So for example, in the banking industry, we have pre-built actions for financial disputes. It's a very common mm. use case. Um, for health, you know, we, we, we know our doctors and nurses are overwhelmed, understaffed, high degree of burnout. So Health Cloud, they deliver the, the pre-appointment meeting summary. Oh, so wow. everything that you need to know about that patient's allergies, their health history, how they're doing, so that as the, the clinician is walking into that appointment, they have prepped. everything. Yeah, oh incredible. So all use cases across industries and people can jump on that right now. 
That's right. We wanted to make it really easy for people to get going fast. And then we couple that with our new agent builder, which is part of Agent Force Studio. And our trailblazers, we have 20 million trailblazers. Yes. They know our low code tools. They're already using Flow Builder. They're using Model Builder. They're using Prompt Builder. And now Agent Builder is going to look very familiar to them in addition to having all their data, roles, and metadata right there for them to drag and drop into their agents. Trailblazers are now agent blazers. I love yes, that. Yes, they are. <laughs> so no more procrastination. It's time to go. You heard it here first. Thank you so much. You've been such an inspiration at this company. You've brought so much innovation. Congratulations, and we hope to see you in the region again soon. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thank you, Clara.